Over the course of about three years, I've read exactly 29 programming books or books related to software engineering in some form or another. And I think what I've learned after those 29 books, um, plus the five that I'm reading currently, so it's going to put me up about 34 books, is I've learned that there's a lot of patterns to a lot of these books. There's a lot of different ways to go about writing software engineering books. And there's some books that are really written for how-tos and tutorials. Some books really delve more into the theory and go really, really technical on a specific area. Some books assume that you have a lot of knowledge already about the topic and then kind of add on to that in a way that tries to get to best practice. And there's a lot of other patterns, but I, I think that's why it's so hard to find a book that's good and right for where you're, wherever you're at is because there's so many angles to come at these topics from, right? If you, if you want to write about a book about databases, do you first start with an introduction to SQL? Some of the database books do. But if you don't start with an introduction to SQL, you've automatically eliminated a lot of your audience who is trying to find a book about, you know, SQL and databases. So it's really tough because I feel like whatever angle you choose to come at this at from, you, you are going to eliminate some of your audience. And I feel like the books that are targeted for the more experienced uh, software developers, I feel like those are the ones that are harder to find because they don't, they're not as popular. Um, at least that's what it seems like. But the books that really seem to do well are the books that are targeted more for, uh, you know, entry level uh, developers who are trying to, you know, read a how-to book on a on a topic or language. Um, those are the ones that seem to do the best. You know, compared to the you know the the, the broad landscape of, of software engineering books. And it's hard, you know, when we when we consider software engineering, it, it's it's quite difficult to understand everything. But I think it should be our our or at least one of our ambitions uh, to become an expert on at least one thing. And I think in order to become an expert on one topic, I think that requires us to read generally about a lot of topics to discover what we like. And for me, for me, out of all the books that I've read, I know for a fact I just do not like reading about networking. I just don't. I don't like learning about IP addresses, subnets, uh, VPNs, and and all these other stuff. I just don't like that stuff. That stuff has just really never clicked with me. Um, so you know, if I have my choice, I really don't care to become an expert in that. But after reading what. I really have enjoyed reading about our cues and RabbitMQ and a little bit, you know, more broadly than that, uh, just system design and how cues can fit and work in a system. For whatever reason, I've really liked learning about that topic, um, as you kind of have, have seen reflected in some of my content recently. And I think that I would have never gotten there, you know, had I not read a, a lot of books to begin with. Because I had just read my first RabbitMQ book this year, and you know maybe if if had I never read that book, maybe I would not have, you know, realized that you know I, I like that topic. So I think it takes a lot of trial and error. I think you're going to have to spend a couple years figuring out the topic that you truly like reading about. And I think that once you do figure that out, you'll kind of just know, right? You'll kind of just realize like wait, you know, like I actually, you know, like reading about this and I actually want to find another book on this very similar topic. Or maybe you can even write your own book about the topic or write a research paper or something, something to, to contribute to the, the, you know, the knowledge base or whatever topic you're reading about. And I, I think it's fascinating that, you know, we have this whole category of like online documentation, YouTube videos, but then you have like books and I feel like books always get the short end of the stick in terms of like software engineering resources. Cause I feel like people always say like, you know, they go out of date so fast or like by the time you buy them, you know, there's already an update to the framework or library. Well, that may be true, 
I still find that books offer a unique perspective that is often missed in just, you know, straight up technical documentation or online tutorials or YouTube videos. Books force you to really focus in on the topic. And I, I still am convinced that books are the best place to get best practice uh, guidelines for. I just I, that's been my experience after reading 30 books. And I I don't know if other people have found this to be true or not, but I've I've really I'm convinced that books are the best place to find to read about best practices. Uh, I, I think that might just be in part that books a lot of the software engineering books are written by people who have been in the field a long time and have been like uh, contributors to to massive projects or have worked on the you know even the .NET framework like it's there's some pretty respectable people writing these books and I feel like that kind of comes through in writing where that might not be always the case in online tutorials or or videos um, there's a different weight associated with that I feel like and I, maybe someone has had a different experience, but I, you know, in terms of finding best practices, but I think books for me have been that, that the best resource for that. Um, so honestly, I plan to continue reading at this rate, and I, I really hope to every year add on five books to my to my running list of how many programming books I'm reading because I think that reading all of the software books has unlocked for me kind of an untapped like potential in this whole in this whole job and career because it's not only allowed me to figure out what technology I want I, I like and what I think I want to become an expert in but it's really helped me grow in terms of being more confident at work and also being able to you know be a little bit more confident in terms of planning and just creating uh, stories and, and work. And I think that I would not have gotten there without reading. And so I think that reading, you know, r regardless of what you may feel about it, I, I really think that there's something there, especially for software engineering, because, you know, when we, when we go to school, we have to read these textbooks and stuff like that. And we have to read, uh, you know, maybe papers or, uh, we have to write essays and things. And I, I truly don't believe that, that I, I just don't think that that should stop when you graduate. If anything, I think it should get more, I think you should just do more of that. Because when you when you start this job, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot to learn up front, right? It's going to be a lot of like learning business practices and just the terminology and, you know, just getting a feel for like, what you know working in software is like but i think that once you're past that and you've you kind of get on that flow of like you know you're picking up tickets you're you're making pull requests and you're getting you're getting stuff closed and done i think that once you start to get into kind of like that flow state of that i think that that is the perfect time to begin re getting all these resources re re you know, maybe you're rereading textbooks or getting new books and reading them through because I think that that combined with that flow of like work, I think is really going to set you off on the, the fastest, you know, speed of, of advancement. I think it's really going to help traject your trajectory in terms of this career um, because I know, it helped, I know it, it helped mine and I definitely will not be where I'm at without reading. Um, but again, reading is not the end all, like for you know, the, or not the the fix all for everything, right? You can definitely advance quickly with online tutorials as well. But I, I still think something about it, it it's you know, it, it works. And so, if you haven't already, I would really consider making a reading goal, or you know, chart out for yourself a reading list of like what books you can read uh, for software development. And I think that once you kind of get a plan for yourself of like, okay, I'm gonna read, um, I'm gonna read 30 books, 40 books, 50 books this year. I think once you have that planned out, I think you're gonna see like, you know, 
I, I think you're going to see some serious advancement in terms of your own skill set. You may not see it up front, but if you get the right books, I, you, you're, I think you're going to be amazed as to where you can get. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.